today what we showed was an early peak at what are 2.1 Moblin 2.1 based UI reference design, UI framework will look like. Right? Um, we are doing it in parallel. So we are using Menlo as a development platform uh, to work out the kinks from a UI interaction perspective. Right? Menlo is more robust, Menlo is shipping, it, it is uh, product quality. So it acts as a good development platform for us. Shortly behind Menlo, we are testing the same things on the Moorstown platform. Right? Um, if you guys are nice to us, Mark can actually show you this <laughs> on Moorstown platform. It is not as stable. Right? Um, um, so we are doing it in parallel, uh, working out the kinks on this guy, and then trying to make it work on Moorstown. Um, the phone connection, right? Mm -hmm. So, Moorstown is fully phone capable, voice capable, right? Um, we are working with Open Plug on the telephony stack. Mm -hmm. uh, we have made that announcement. The Moblin V2.1 stack will integrate Open Plug uh, telephony. Um, so, you can make a phone call. The video we showed today did show and you can make a phone call, right? That's how it ended. So Moblin V2.1 will be fully voice capable. We think the predominant usage model is around internet and data. But if you want to make a phone call, that's so you, How are you going to make the differentiation if this is first a computer mm -hmm. not a phone? Yeah. So the way we think about it, um, phones come in different shapes and sizes. Right. You know, at a big picture level, there are smartphones, mm -hmm. There are mainstream phones, and there are voice phones, right? Smartphones of tomorrow are more like computers in your pocket, right? Um, that's the segment we are targeting. If we just look at that segment, in 2008, this is nine, right? 2008, that was 150, 175 million um, big. When I go out 2012, 2013 timeframe, you go from 150 million to north of 400 million, right? That's the segment we are interested in. We are not interested in the voice segment, the voice phone segment. We are not interested in a mainstream phone. Um, and I define a mainstream phone as, um, you know, color, camera, SMS, MMS, right? That's not our target segment. So if you look at the smartphone segment, um, Internet is important. Things you do on the internet, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Hulu, blah blah blah, are important. But you, but it's it, you. It sounded to me like you were making a differentiation between uh, modern devices, yeah. and, and smartphones, mm -hmm. and I, I see that that sector collapsing, especially when you put up the radio. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I'm, I'm asking yeah. where the, yeah. you know, because it's a bigger device, but it's not that much bigger, right. and. That's what, I mean, there's a trade-off there. I'm wondering how you're going to ask the consumer to make that trade-off. Yeah, so... Give it a year and they don't have to ask the consumer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now, think, think, you have a good question. Think of a range of data devices. And then think of a smartphone, right? I'll give you some examples. A media tablet. Mm -hmm. Say 10-inch running webcam, multi-touch screen. Um, <laughs> right? um, a, a media tablet uh, where uh, internet is the reason you buy, media to go is the reason you buy. You, you will likely have Skype, but it's not this, right? That's a good segment we are pursuing. Um, next generation portable media player. Right? Instead of buying a 4 or 5 inch uh, portable media player um, that does not connect to the internet, that does not give you YouTube premium content, etc. Think of a connected, next-generation portable media player that happens to run any video from any website. Right? It has 3G, primarily used for data. Think of next-generation navigation device. Instead of having um, navigation software and mapping just on the device, what if you could mash up with Google Earth, mm -hmm. take advantage of Yahoo Local and all kind of location-based services real-time, that's interesting, right? Think of next generation enterprise vertical device. 
instead of having a proprietary PDA or a proprietary uh, point of sale device, if you had a device that um, was it was the same size but under the hood was fully enterprise compatible, your um, TCO will go down, right? So when I think of data devices, I think of gaming. When I think of data devices, there are a bunch of segments right. where um, always connected, based on the internet, standards-based software, opens up opportunities for us. All of them happen to be computers, just in different shapes and sizes, right? This is a good example of this, um, of um, productivity device, right? Um, productivity device, pocketable, this happens to be based on Menlo. I can take it any place. I get full internet on this device, right? Um, when I go to Moorstown, this is one example we have shown you guys before of a Moorstown device. We get to this kind of form factor. Some will be slightly bigger, some will be slightly uh, larger. I will buy this because I want to get access to the full internet, no matter where I am, always connected on 3G or WiMAX. Some people, um, you know, when I buy this, I will make a phone call every once in a while, okay. right? So when you're going to carry that into phone? So that, that's what I'm asking. Um, it will vary. Okay. My niece, when she buys this, 16-year-old, she doesn't talk. Right. She just texts and chats and, and so on and so forth. Right. She can do that. Yeah. Most time will come with voice. Okay. Um, if, you, if you're going to a store mm -hmm. to buy a device that makes phone calls, and also does data. You're not my target segment. If you're going to a store to buy a data device, an internet-based device, a media device, a navigation device, the next generation smartphone, where most of the time you are going to do internet-based things, but you also want voice every once in a while, you are my target segment. Where does this fall into your target segment? This is a good example of next generation smartphone. Okay. Right? So can you can can your platforms build a device that small? Yeah. Our roadmap, our roadmap enables smaller, thinner, lighter, sleeker but not products over time. You guys can speculate. <laughs> How long it takes is the question. Yeah, yeah. It's just a I matter mean, yeah, of time. What's your, what, what, everything's a matter of time. But mm. I mean, your competitors have products on the market now. You, you, you can speculate. Nile, this is Menlo. Okay. This is um, a Moorstown design. Okay. Moorstown is 45 nanometer north hub. Um, the IO hub is 65 nanometer. Mm -hmm. Medfield is 32 nanometer. Okay. Single chip. You, you can uh, look at that roadmap and decide you know, how customers will build on that. Okay. You, you know, expect. Um, final silicon, final software, first half 2010. Um, expect devices throughout second half. Okay. Right? Uh, because these have 3G, because these need to be qualified on the service provider network, there is a lag between when we ship silicon, final silicon, and when you see the product coming out. Mm -hmm. right? So, you guys want to look at the demo? Yes. yes. Definitely. <laughs>